Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are back at Paul's house working on the red Jeep. So the rear axle's not in because he had an issue. He forgot to put something in, but it'll get fixed. And now he's working on the front end, removing the front axle, getting it ready for the Dana 44s. This thing's gonna be a beast. We already took off the sway bar disconnects. Next are the brakes. And then I'll work on removing the tie rod, the drag link, and then the track bar as well. And then after we get the whole steering out of the way, last will be the control arms and I guess the front drive shaft as well. So we got the tie rod pretty Can much you, off. Uh, take that casting nut off and then put it back on? The drag link is off as well. We just have the nut on there. Next, I'll work on the track bar. And over there, he's taking off the sensor and the brakes. All right, we're getting there. Pretty much everything's out. Next is the control arms and then the front drive shaft. What else do you got over there, Edward? I don't work on Jeeps, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all basic stuff, man. Brakes, shocks, springs, control arms, and now the front stuff. You got the, the shock off? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got the axle out. It's kind of a mission with the last control arm, but the way we did it is we put one side down, lifted the other side, and it just popped right out pretty much. So now it is ready for the Dana 44s. Let's go. And then my Jeep's ready for this one now. And the reason we're putting this one in is because it has the gearing for the rear axle that Paul uh, let me get. So um, I guess I could change the gearing out, but that seems like way more work than just swapping this Man, in. Man, I think you probably sat with the 456. Oh yeah, with the 33s? Yeah. Hopefully my gas mileage goes up. You're good to go, man. <laughs> That's crazy seeing. You gonna trust it or no? <laughs> Not right away. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, clean, I'm clean them up and pay them. Yeah, I'm low income right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got it in the Jeep. We are ready to go home. All right, so it is the next morning and we have the axle still in my Jeep. So the plans for this are definitely going to be cleaning it up, painting it, replacing the ball joints. The shafts look okay. The buckets actually look really clean, so I'm glad about that. We're definitely going to have to replace this. I'm probably going to do the Iron Rock one off of the axle that I have already. Just take it off and put it on here. I think I could do that. This axle actually has 456 gearing, which will match the rear axle that I have. The front doesn't have a locker, but the rear does. Another thing is it has this protection right here, so that's really nice to have. I'm pretty grateful to be able to get this axle, to be honest, and the fact that it's in great condition might have to replace the wheel bearings i would probably do that just to be safe but i think once we paint it up and install it in the jeep it's gonna look really good really mean another thing is that the control arm mounts have this extra piece of steel right here i know on the iron rock we had to put in spacers so i wonder if with these it'll just fit perfect i don't know this one had a clayton kit on there so we will see once we get ready to install it but yeah what do you guys think for the install it's not gonna happen right away i still have a couple of other things to button up and as well as once we do install it i need to get new drive shafts so that'll be something else that we have to wait on is ordering the drive shafts getting them made to spec for the the axles and the liquid that i'm running so we will see anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you're excited to see the axle swap. So I'll see you on the next video. Peace.